we expect a reward and the reward doesn't come, that the pattern of dopamine release will follow a particular contour. And that contour is very important. Here's how it goes. Let's say that I'm writing and I'm about 30 or 45 minutes in and I'm thinking, oh, this is great. I'm actually, I managed to do this. I'm succeeding in executing the behaviors that I need to in order to perform this habit. I'm overriding limbic friction. Just that series of thoughts will start to generate a dopamine release within my brain and body. However, if at the 50 minute mark, the phone rings and I pick up the phone or I break my own protocol, I break my own self-discipline and I go on and check social media or I do something that takes me out of that, what's going to happen is that my level of dopamine is actually going to drop below the baseline, meaning below the level of dopamine I had before I even started the habit execution. 